The desire to be thin, it is hard to escape, especially in a social media driven world where you are surrounded by images of what you're supposed to look like. For some young people, that desire can turn deadly, driving them to potentially dangerous websites. News 10 ABC's Trishna Begum shows us an online world one many parents remain unaware of, fueling dangerous disorders. Well, it is a troubling trend. And warn you that some of the pictures you're about to see on some of these websites are hard to look at and after reading through the message boards browsing through dozens of pages what I found would disturb any parent who's ever had a child that's considered dieting or trying to lose some weight. All right, so I got the peanut butter and then you want to get two eggs. Mm -hmm. At first you might just see this as a mother and daughter bonding while baking a batch of cookies. So I picked out my second prom dress, I think. That's good. Yeah. But this experience of bonding over food has special meaning for mom Helen Carroll. It's um, such a basic thing to have your children eat. So I was diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. Her 17 year old daughter Natalie recovering after two stints in treatment. Eighth grade was kind of hard for me. I'd like gone through um, changes of friend groups, um, moving into a new school. With that came a lot of social anxiety. Natalie focused more and more on what she was eating. I just didn't decide to like have an eating disorder. It's not something you decide. It started off like I was going to start eat healthy. For months, Natalie was able to hide it from her parents. Definitely isolated myself a lot. Natalie was severely underweight when she was admitted into treatment, and that's where she learned about the dangerous websites promoting the very thing slowly killing her. Since then, I have seen some of these sites, and they're um, it's just really upsetting seeing people support other girls and boys um, starve themselves. All over social media, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, a troubling trend at the fingertips of millions of tech savvy teens, many of them vulnerable about body image just like Natalie was. Pro Anna and Pro Mia websites creating a safe haven for girls struggling with an eating disorder, encouraging young women to not eat, providing tips, posting pictures that show nothing but skin and bones. Those can be very dangerous, I think, with someone who's skirting with the idea. Um, I have to be careful and watch out for myself and make sure that I didn't go down that path again. Dr. Drew Anderson, a psychology professor at UAlbany, has focused his entire career and research on anorexia and bulimia. Um, kids spend so much time online these days that, you know, how, as parents, you don't really know what they're looking at while they're looking at it. Do you see this problem getting bigger? Um, I think that as we become more integrated in our day-to-day -day lives with the internet, I do think it, it can become more common. And it's so rampant and it's so available. And most parents probably don't know there are apps that accompany some of these disturbing sites. It used to be you'd have to get a computer. Now you've got it on your phones. And so if you want access to this, it's easier and easier to hide it. I do think it is kind of disturbing that um, people would draw someone else into the disorder. Natalie feels lucky that by the time she discovered the sites, she was well into her treatment. I would have never helped someone else um, uh, engage in behaviors or teach them ways to lose weight. Natalie is now getting ready to go off to college with a new outlook and a new do. She's hoping her struggles serve as a warning for moms and dads that issues with body image should never be taken lightly. Doctors say if you browse through your child's internet history and see underweight models, pages linking back to pro anorexia websites, or your child is isolating themselves, those can all be signs that they're struggling with an eating disorder. And one pediatrician I spoke with says that she's seen girls as young as seven years old make comments about their weight. Reporting in the studio, I'm Trishna Begum for News 10 ABC.